Guys, you're welcome back to our show today. We're talking about something very, 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 very interesting. Um, I hope your week has been great. So every time I'm here, I'm so, so excited because I'm set to not only pour out what I know, but I'm also getting ready to learn from you. I hope the week has been great. This is UWS in Cyprus. We get to host our show every Friday so we can discuss. Okay, now let's go back to our audience. Oh, I hope you got yourself a cheerleader. Okay, guys, we're back again. It's Friday. I love Friday. I think Fridays are like the best day of the week. Okay, today I miss my co-host, Sabil and Ahmed. Last week, it was so, so amazing on the show. By the way, I was not on the show last week. We had Ahmed um, and Sabil. They're both students of UWS, and then they were talking about how to write a CV. Trust me, those guys are amazing. If you were not like listening to us, in case if you're in the bus now and then you're wondering, oh, what, how can I get the feel? How can I, you know, experience or listen to what I, you know, what they spoke about last week? Well, I have a good news for you. And then the good news is that you can go on Facebook at UWS in Cyprus and Air, and then you can check through the videos. You would find last week's video, trust me. I think you, every student should really go and watch that video because it talks about how to write a CV. And then they came from the perspective that you don't have to be too young to write a CV. They spoke about how you can, you know, boost your CV even when you have no work experience. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it was so, 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 so exciting. So today I'm going to be talking about something very, very interesting. I spent so much of time studying about it because I wanted to give us factual information and things that, you know, I actually reflected on everything that I actually read today and I've been reading over the weeks. I'm going to be sharing with you acts, examination acts, not like I want to teach you to um, get involved in exam or practice, no. Shona would definitely not do that. But then I'm going to be sharing with you acts that you can actually use to actually um, read to make things easier for you this exam period. By the way, you know, um, in case you're listening in the bus, um, this is UWS and Cyprus on Air. You can join the conversation on Facebook. Um, I'm not selfish. <laughs> yeah, it's not just Shona. I always like to share your ideas. I always like to read your comments. If you check the Facebook page during the course of the week, when you comment on the um, during the live show, what happens is that during the course of the week, I get to we get to um, post about how the week um, the last week show was, and then I get to mention you. I get to tell everybody, ah, so some so person wrote this and stuff like that. So please, I'm not going to be selfish. I'm going to share some acts, but at the same time, I want you to get involved. I want you to go on the Facebook page, page also and talk about, you know, what what are your acts. Some people have personal acts that they get to use for reading. I don't know if you know about people that get to put their legs inside water. <laughs> How we don't have people that do that here, you know. <laughs> but then back in my country, you know, they get to advise people, oh, you when you want to read, for exam, put your legs inside water and then you won't sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. For me, that does not work. As a matter of fact, I don't, okay, let me not say it doesn't work because the truth is that I've never, I've never tried that because I've never found a bucket that sits my leg. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, I don't know. But I, from people that I know have done that, sometimes they get to tell me that Shona, that thing does not work. As a matter of fact, it actually makes me feel sleepy. Like, it makes me feel very, very sleepy. So, guys, today, the acts I'm going to be sharing has nothing to do with putting your legs inside water. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, it's nothing about that. But there's some a lot of practical stuff. Okay, let me start by saying this, you know. These acts are good, they would help you, but the truth is that, let me put it like straight, you shouldn't be preparing for your exam now. <laughs> if your exam is next week, I feel you should be ready. Oh my God, please don't crucify me yet. But really, that's the truth. You shouldn't be one week into preparing for your exam. You should be ready for your exam like a month, even a month before your exam. And as I find, I, I found out over time, you. Um, most of the universities just completed their midterm exams. So if you read for your midterm, after your midterm, you are not just supposed to relax. <laughs> you are actually just supposed to keep up the culture of reading, you know, making reading like a daily habit. 
But then if you find yourself in that situation, you don't have to feel bad. That's why I'm here. Um, there are a few acts that you can use whenever you want to read and it's very, very useful. So number one, number one act is that when you can't read, listen. It's amazing how that in this um, age of so much of advancement in technology, a lot of people have still not gotten the best out of every device. I think everybody, not like I think, I am so sure, everybody in the world, like almost everybody in the world, has one technological device or the other. But I can even generalize it. Every student in North Cyprus has access to a technological device. This could be your phone. This could be your iPad. This could be your laptop. This could be your school computers. But trust me, this could be your housemate's laptop. But nobody in North Cyprus as an international student can tell me that, you know, we don't have access to any technological device. That is not possible. Now, the point being emphasized here is that since you have access to technological device, use them for your advantage. So, for example, when you cannot read, you can actually listen. There are so much of information available on audio, you know, format. For example, if you're doing a cost management course, there are so many management. If you need them, you know, you can write me on, write us on Facebook. Tell us that, oh, you mentioned about um, how I can get, hello, Zach's. Oh my God, I have the nice president on You deserve some accolades, bro. <laughs> How are you, Zach? How was the election? Hope everything is great. I miss you. It's, it's amazing that I'm seeing you after you won the election, like, on, online. But hope you're great. Are you writing exams? Are preparation for your exams? Tell me, before you leave, because I know you're busy, before you go on the move, tell me one act. Tell me one reading act that students can use and then you know they can excel in the exam so back we're back here again okay so i was saying that you have there's for example if you're doing management there are so much of management information available via the online form like by the audio format, sorry. There are so many people that have done podcasts, they've done audio recordings about your course. If you don't feel like reading, all you have to do is listen. Oh my God. Woo! I think that was great. Really, when you don't feel like reading, listen. And as I know, most of the time you're in class and then you're recording, um, you're recording some things. For example, I know so many people in my class that they get to record whatever the teacher is saying. Now, when you don't feel like reading, because trust me, there are some times that we don't feel like reading. No matter who you are, even though you're a 4.0 person, there is always a time that you don't just want to do anything, you just want to relax. Well, the best thing to do during that period is that just listen. This is the, that's the best time for you to, you know, listen to all the things that you had recorded on your phone and stuff like that. That is the best time. So what we're trying to say is that when you don't feel like reading, spend time listening. I think that was really, really great. And then also I gathered that excitingly, I gather that there are some applications, for example, Amazon Whisper Sync and Overdrive. I'll come again. There are certain audio applications that are good for reading. One of them is Amazon's Whisper Sync and Overdrive. So for example, one of the things that you can do through this audio, um, through the use of this audio form of reading, through listening, instead of you reading, is that when you're about to go to bed, I don't know how you get to spend time, like how you get to plan yourself when you want to go to bed. But what you can do is that you can actually put on your earphones and listen to what, you know, listen to those podcasts even while you're sleeping. Wake up, sleep on your book, wake up on your book. It's, you know, it's, it really helps you, it refreshes your mind. And then, you know, scientists have gathered that when we're sleeping, like our mind subconsciously is actually working. So there's some information that will get into you that you won't, you we probably may not remember, oh, this is where I got it, but it was actually from the time that you had spent listening. So guys, point is that when you don't feel like reading, because I know that there are some times that you don't feel like reading, Spend time listening. Get your record your teachers if they're fine with it. Or oftentimes you can actually go online and then check for all these audio podcasts about your course. You would find them there. Maximize it. 
And I mentioned also that there is Amazon's Whisper Sync and Overdrive. You can check them out. You can use them in case if you don't have recordings of your teachers teaching in class. You can use all these recordings, like you, you, all these applications to listen instead of reading. And also another thing is that in case you have big books, <laughs> you know there are some. I always get to say this. There are some lecturers that love, you know, giving you FC note like textbook to read 500 pages. Okay, personally, I'll be so real right now. I don't like big books. Like, you can give me 16 articles to read, but don't give me one at one book that contains 500 pages. It's, it's torture. I think the last time I read a book that was that huge was, you know, a personal development book. I can do that for personal development, like, I feel like. But if it's, like, a course requirement and you're telling me to read 500 pages or 1,000 pages, <laughs> trust me, like, I would be scared. Like, I wouldn't want to read it. But then, guys, I have one act for you. The thing is that when you're reading big books, cut them into tiny pieces. Make your books, like, uh, turn them into articles. Because artic books are actually, like, supposed to be a collection of articles. So, basically, when you're reading, when you're reading big books, turn them into small articles. Pick one chapter at a time, one chapter at a time, one chapter at a time. Before you know it, you'll be done. So, you know, don't... I prayed the book that, oh my God, I'm about to read maybe like the complete works of Shakespeare. No, take them bit by bit. Before you know it, you'll be done with your book. And then also I gather that there's an application. I would also post this on the Facebook page for people. It's called Daily Lit. So you can actually use it. Um, basically what the application does is that it gets to um, break every book whatever book you're reading into bits. So daily it tells you, oh, you're meant to read this chapter. The other day it tells you what chapter you're meant to read. So over time, before you know it, you're done with the book. So the point is that organize your book. Like, don't make, don't approach it like, oh my God, I'm about to read a big book. No, even though it's 1,000 pages, break it down. The point is that, okay, let's do the mathematics. If you're reading one, a book that contains 1,000 pages and then you make up your mind, I pray you don't have a book that contains 1,000 pages though. <laughs> but just in case, okay, let's do 500. I think it's safe for 500. Let's say that you have a book that contains 500 pages and it's for a course. Just take it like, oh, every day I'll read 10 pages. Every day I'll read 10 pages for this book. And before you know it, before like two months or three months, of which your courses should actually last for three months normally, or even longer before you know it you're done with it so for example it's 500 pages and every day you're taking 10 you know you're reading 10 pages that means in 50 days you'll be able to finish that book which is like one month and like 20 days yeah so guys like the point is that no matter how big those books are know that even the author already did not write it in one day so don't try to solve it don't try to read it in one day what you should do is that you should break those books into bits and also there is an application called daily lit that can be used to break it helps you analyze the book and breaks it down into bits oh my god i've been sharing so much <laughs> okay for those joining us on facebook thank you so much for being here thank you for the support for those who are listening via the radio this is uws in cyprus on air we're always excited i'm always excited to be here i hope you're always excited to also listen to us Today we're talking about reading acts, and then we've shared two already. In case you're just joining us, you can go on Facebook at UWS in Cyprus on Air and like the video, share it with your friends, and also you can make your comments. I'll be so, so glad to read it because I know that what you, what you use can be um, an inspiration to someone else. So I shared, number one, that when you cannot read, you can listen, and then also when read big books in bits. Another thing that I want to mention is that read while you wait. Whenever you're waiting for something, for example, you're waiting for the bus, you're waiting for your kebab to get ready, you're waiting for your books, you know, to get printed, or you're waiting for any, whenever you're waiting, whenever, like whenever, just make sure that you spend some time reading. Trust me, the 10 minutes you spent reading now, today, the 10 minutes you spent reading tomorrow, the 10 minutes you spent reading next tomorrow, when you add it up, you know, it's, it's, it does a lot than not reading at all. Thank you so much, Dr. Omar. <laughs> it's always great when I have my, my employer, like, 
Dr. Omar right in front of me. I miss you, Oja. Thank you so much for the support. You mean a lot to me, and I'm sure you know this. Okay, but then, like I was saying, 10 minutes, I, it's good. The 10 minutes that you get to spend reading can go a long way. I don't like when people say, oh my God, I was waiting for the perfect time to read, because there is no such thing as a perfect time. That perfect time never comes. What is the perfect time is your ability for you to maximize time. So, for example, your 10 minutes that you're spending every day, when you sum it up, it's it's exciting how that those 10 minutes that you get to spend, it's it helps you. It's still better than not spending any time at all reading. So many, like most of us now, we've been waiting for the perfect time for us to study, and now it's exam period already. But even though you're there, you don't give up. Now, when you're in the you are the boss, some people are just you know I don't I really question so many things. For example, rarely would you see like I, I hope we're not the kind of people that just sit down in the bus and then nothing, you know we're not thinking about anything. Excuse me, we're not supposed to think about bad things. But then the time you spend in the bus can be all that you need for you to, you know, read. You shouldn't waste that time. When you're transitioning from one from point A to point B, you should maximize that place. You should maximize that time. That may be, especially for those that work, that may be all the time. Because when you get back home and you're saying that you want to read, you're tired, your body is weak. But when you're moving from the bus or you're moving to a friend's place or you're at a friend's place, you're waiting for the pizza to get ready, you're waiting for the kebab or whatever you're waiting for, that is the perfect time you want to spend reading. That's the perfect time you want to spend reading. So, guys, I'm saying that the 10 minutes time that you get to spend on your book is better than procrastinating and waiting for the perfect time. I'll say that again. The 10 minutes that you get to spend reading is better than waiting for the perfect time. I mean, you wait for the perfect time. You keep waiting forever. Maximize your now. Maximize your now. That's all that matters. It is now that matters. Now, what are you doing now? So guys, I'll do the recap. Oh my God, I've been talking a lot. Thank you so much for the love on Facebook, but I want to receive your comments. <laughs> Tell me your acts. <laughs> do you use cold water? Do you um, soak your feet in cold water? Some people do that. I don't do that. But if you do and it works, you know, share. I'm sure, you know, it'll be an inspiration for someone else. Okay, so basically, I've been sharing about reading acts all through today since we started the show. And then the first thing I mentioned is that when you cannot read, you should spend time listening. I mentioned that there are certain um, applications that does, that makes um, re, um, listening a lot easier for you. And one of it is Amazon Whisper Sync, and the other one is Overdrive. I recommend that if your teachers, your lecturers are comfortable with it, from the um, beginning of the semester, you can be recording what they're saying so that when you go back home, you can spend time listening to it. You can sleep on, you can listen while you're listening. You can sleep off. You wake up listening to your teacher. Trust me, it helps. It really does. Another thing is that in case if you have um, big books, some teachers, lectures are so, you know, they're so, you know, talented in giving people big books so in case if you're in that kind of situation what you want to do is that you want to um, make your books like turn your big books into tiny pieces because after all whatever journal that is so big is actually like a collection of articles so what you want to do is that you want to break down what you're listening what you're supposed to read into bits Another thing is that there's an application called Daily Lit. I'll be so kind to post all these things on the Facebook page just in case you can't get it properly. It's called Daily Lit. What it does is that this app sends you short installments of book at regular times that you choose. So you can choose that you want to read chapter 1, chapter 2 through this Daily Lit. It will help you over time. And as a matter of fact, it will also remind you of when you should read. Also, I just shared that um, read read while you wait. So, for example, if you're waiting for your pizza, you're waiting in case you're transitioning and you're listening to me, in as much as I want you to listen to me now, but you're in the bus, know that next time when you're, you know, at the bus, except it's on Friday by this time, you should spend that time, um, you should spend the time reading your book. 
I mentioned how the, the 10 minutes that you get to spend reading is better than waiting for the perfect time. So many of us have been waiting for the perfect time and then we never got it. And now it's almost the end of the semester, but still wait for the, like don't wait for the perfect time. This is the best time for you to start reading 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes may be all you have, but make sure that you maximize that 10 minutes. Also, this is a part that nobody wants to hear, but I just have to say it. Lock yourself out of your phone. Yeah. You know, some of us were not bound by chains. We're bound by um, our phones. I hope, like, it's so normal. We live in a generation whereby you're standing close to someone and then the person you're chatting with is more real to you than the person who you're standing beside. I'll, I'll, I'll say that again. So we're stand, like we live in a world whereby the people we're standing close to are not real to us as much as the people we're chatting with. You're seeing someone that is right in front of you, but you're, you still feel more connected to your phone, to the person you're chatting with. But then, guys, one of the reading acts I would like to share is that you should lock yourself out of your phone. And then the amazing thing that I discovered today is that there are actually applications. I would post them on the Facebook page, guys. There are actually applications that help you to lock your phone at particular hours. Amazing. <laughs> I think if you're addicted to your phone, that may be all that you need. I quite, like, from what I heard, I don't have the application on my phone because um, I'm, I'm quite a disciplined person. Woo! <laughs> really, I dropped my phone. My phone irritates me sometimes. I'm sure when I have so many things to do, I just get irritated by the phone and then I just drop it. It's easy for me to drop my phone. But in case, and then I don't just drop my phone. One of the things I get to do first before dropping my phone is that I get to turn off my um, personal data, Wi-Fi connection, and then I just drop the phone so that I don't receive any calls via WhatsApp and stuff like that. But then in case if you're tempted with your phone and it's so normal trust me if you feel tempted with your phone you don't have to feel bad you're you're in the right zone like it's normal this that's the generation you're in enjoy it but then there are certain applications that you can download that can make things a lot easier for you there's one that's called flip d and app detox um detox yeah app detox what it does is that at particular hours of the day you can set it more like an app same way you set an alarm um, you basically set the time that you want the phone to lock by itself and then it locks and then that's it till a particular time and then it opens again. Guys, in case if you're that kind of person and then now is even exam period, you know, you probably want to do that. Lock your phone. Another thing that you can do is that you can also put your phone in the do not disturb mode. I mean, that's really easy. In case if you're this kind of person that you don't have so much of, um, space on your phone, what you can do is just turn up, turn up the Wi-Fi. The truth is that the people you're struggling to keep in touch with, the people that you're trying to, oh my God, you know, let me reply this person's message and things like that, people you're trying to be in touch with, if you're not successful in a few years, most of them would not want to associate themselves with you. So don't, don't, um, don't, um, what's the word to use now? Don't put yourself at risk all because you're trying to, <laughs> all because you're trying to reply someone's message. The truth is that so many times you're replying one message and then another one comes up, another one comes up. So most of the time, what I get to is that whenever I have like a lot of message, like for example, I turn on my data, you can also learn from this. I guess if you turn off your data from morning and then you turn it on again at, uh, maybe like six o'clock. What I get to do most times is that I turn it on by 6 o'clock. I allow all the message to come in. I like come in, come in, just come in. Let all the messages come in. Then after like five minutes, when I'm sure that all the messages are in already, I turn up my data. I reply the messages. Turn on my date, um, turn on my data again so that the message can go. And then I turn it off when I want to reply. I don't know if... There was a time I had like this very, now my schedules are a bit more relaxed. But when I had stuff to do, that was what I did. I'll, t I'll say it again. From morning till like 6 o'clock, my data is turned off. I turn on my data by 6. And then all the messages that I had missed on WhatsApp, they come up. And then I turn off my data. The reason why I turn it off after receiving the message is because if I reply people while I'm online, you know, I get distracted. I'm not able to... 
um, reply the next person. I'm not able to move on. So what I get to do is that whenever the data is on, you know, I don't reply. I just get the messages, turn it off when I know I can't chat, turn it off, reply the messages, and then turn it on again so that the message can get to the recipient. And then sometimes I'm reading, this also happens, I made up my mind that I want to read, but then sometimes I get this information that, oh my God, I need to pass this information across to someone. So what do I do? I just write the messages like that I want to send to people and send it. It won't deliver to them, but then it already sent. So immediately I turn on my data, I'm not distracted by the messages that are coming up, that are popping up and stuff like that, because I know that I've already written the message and it has already been sent. Trust me, guys. We need to learn how to manage the social media because it's so tempting. There are so much of distractions in there. Sometimes you can be uh, on the social media. If you're not able to manage yourself and control yourself, you can end up spending one hour there without even noticing. So, guys, we need to know all these social media management things when we want to read. And another thing is that it's really funny, but I just have to say this. People around me get to do this. But if you want to read well, you know, you should turn off that notification thing that pops up that gives us ghost pimples <laughs> you know some people are always excited whenever they see their um, notification popping up but guys if you want to do a productive reading if you can't turn off your data maybe because you're busy or you're expecting something I would advise that your notification that pops up on your screen yeah it's called on screen um, notification you want to turn it off and then if you have all the sounds that do dum 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 you probably want to turn it off as well when you want to read. Oh my god, uh, I have like two more tips for you, but unfortunately, um, it's almost time and I, and I have to go. We're having a re uh, music show like shortly after this program. But I hope, you know, this um, tips that we shared um, were beneficial to you. You know, it's good when you listen. I always, it's good to listen, but you know, it's more exciting when you actually get to put all these things that we get to talk about into use. Once again, this is UWS in Cyprus on Air. We hold our show every Friday at 7 o'clock, 7 to 8 o'clock. And then today we shared about, last week we shared about how to build up your CV. We shared tips on how you can actually build your CV even without having a work experience. If you want to find out more about that you can visit the Facebook page at UWS and Cyprus on Air, and then you know you can watch the video. It's gonna really, really be great. Um, we're actually working on a few things. Um, one of the things we're gonna do is that we're gonna open a, a Facebook channel, a YouTube channel for all our videos. So all the videos that has been watched like previously, we're gonna upload them on YouTube so that you can pause it, you can download it on your phone. You can download it on audio, whatever thing you want to do. We're going to have it there so that you can always listen to this, um, to whatever is being, whatever thing that we get to share. But then basically, I'll just recap everything that I did. I'll be so kind to do that. Thank you so much for the love on Facebook, Dr. Omar, Zach James, our NANS president. Um, thank you so much for the support. It means so, so much to me. So one of the reading acts that we shared is that when you can't read, you should listen. So for example, if you're this kind of a person, like if you can't read f for some readings, I don't know why you won't be able to read, but just in case you don't feel like reading, what you can do is that you can listen. We shared how that there are two applications I recommend, Amazon Whisper Sync and Overdrive. Through this application, you can actually listen to a lot of test books you know, you can listen to them instead of reading them. And also, I advise that if your lectures are fine with it, you can actually record some of their, most of their lectures on your phone. It's so exciting how that you can play them when you're back home, when you're on your way home, when you're transitioning from one point to another. You can also sleep while re listening to them. You can wake up listening to your notes if you're passionate about your course but the point is that you can actually record and listen when you don't feel like reading and also whenever you have big books to read we shared how that 500 pages of books you can decide to read 10 10 pages every day and in 50 days which is one month and 20 days you can finish up a book so don't be scared about the size of the book try to see how you can break down 
you know the, the books into smaller bits also there's a, an application called daily bits app that helps you to break down your books into installments such that it reminds you of what you're supposed to read and when you're supposed to read it so every day you have a book to read also we also share that you should read while you wait when you're waiting for your kebab you're waiting for your burger you're waiting for the bus to come that is the perfect time you want to spend reading that's the perfect time 10 minutes of reading is better than 20 minutes is better than waiting for the perfect time so don't wait for the perfect time spend your 10 minutes the 10 minutes that you have spend the reading before over time the 10 minutes that you're spending you know it adds up Whoa! I have the celebrity himself. I was thinking about you today. Oluwa Toyin, Abidemi, thank you so much. You said I should call you Abidemi. I'm still learning. Thank you so much for being on the show. I was just, I was just thinking about you. Like, sorry guys, this is when we, we. That's why there's Facebook. So we had, um, we have um, Oluwa Toyin, Abidemi. It was on the show like some two weeks back, and then he was sharing with us about money. I was still thinking about what you shared. It says that, sorry I diverted, but he shared how that, you know, don't try to chase after money. Look for that gift that is inside of you. Look for the gift that is inside of you. That gift would help you, you know, would make, would produce money for you. So don't chase after money. That was one of the things that he said, and then it got me thinking. Thank you so much for being on the show. You know, being here, seeing you online is an encouragement for me. Thanks for being your video is still online. We're working on a few things to have them on YouTube and you know what advance Thanks for being a blessing. It's it's it's, it's so great. So also we share, as I was saying, we shared how that when you can't read, listen, make use of audio um devices, audio applications to listen, read big books in bits, you know, little, 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 little books, like little pages that you get to read, they add up to form the book. So you can decide, oh, I have a book of 500 pages to read. What I'll do is that every day I'll read 10 pages and in less than, in 50 days you're done with the book. It's still better. Also, while you're waiting for your kebab, your burger, whatever you're waiting for, spend time reading. Spend time reading. Don't wait for the perfect time to read because if you wait for the perfect time, you know, you may never get to the perfect time is when you position your mind that you want to do something. That's what the perfect time is. Position your mind that this is what you want to do and then do it. Also, lock yourself from your phone. It's so important. It's so important. This is like the most important part. Turn off the pop-ups that get to come. Tum tum the WhatsApp messages, the notification on screen, the ones that come on on your screen when you're reading. You can't have a productive reading when you keep seeing that all those notifications. So turn them off when you want to read. Read. The truth is that those people that you're struggling to keep up with, trust me. If you don't turn up to end, if you don't become anything in life, a point, a time. Would come in your in their in their life that they may not even see any use why they should have you around. So you don't want to be an unproductive person. Turn off your phone. I shared with you how that what I get to do is that when I want to read, like I want to engage in serious reading or I have a very busy day, I turn off my WhatsApp from morning till night. I turn it on so that the messages can come up. When the messages come up, I don't reply when the messages are coming up. When the messages are finished coming up. I turn it off and then I reply the messages. I do that because so that when I'm chatting, replying someone's message, you don't you don't reply. Don't I don't want you to reply yet. <laughs> I can be sometimes it can be that demanding and you know we have to be real. So I turn off the notification um the um internet so that I can reply the messages. When I'm done replying all the messages, I turn it on again so that people, you know, so that people will get the message that I've sent but I've not been delivered and then you know that's the way I get and then I sleep so I don't know how it works for you you know some many people they are so skilled you call it multitasking but I call it this you know distraction so many people they claim that oh I'm multitasking no it's not called multitasking you're losing focus so you want to say that I want to read and then I'm staying at it and I'm going to do it and you're turning off your phone now I found out that there are some interesting applications like flip D and app detox I'll write them down on the Facebook page so that you can check it out. And what this application does is that it locks your phone at a particular hour. So for example, from 10 o'clock to maybe like 2 p.m., 
the application locks your phone such that you're not able to use it. That may be what you need. And also, you can put your phone in Do Not Disturb. That's, um, okay, like you can put your phone in Do Not Disturb. That may be all that you need. Just turn off your data. Don't receive any call so that calls do not come in. You know, that may be all that you want to do. So, guys, these are my reading acts. It was so, so great sharing with you today. I miss um, Sabel. I miss um, Ahmed. They were on the show last week. Um, I want to say well done to all our Muslim brothers, um, all our Muslim, you know, students in North Cyprus. If you're fasting, the Lord is your strength. I hope the fasting goes well. And I hope, you know, you learn patience through this. We'll be on the show again on Friday next week. Well, um, I'm open for this for next week. We're open so that you can share whatever you want to talk about. What do you want us to talk about? We'll get people to talk about it. There are people that are very good, so many talented people on the island that we will be willing to bring on the show to discuss whatever issue you think needs to be addressed. So please, guys, this is at UWS in Cyprus on air on Facebook. Our YouTube page is going to be open this week. We're getting bigger. And we want you to be a part of the growth. Thank you so much for joining. We we'll thank the Management Center of the Mediterranean, the University of the West of Scotland in Cyprus, the only UK university in Cyprus. Woo! <laughs> uh, I'm also a student there. And also Gains TV for the platform you've given us to, um, you know, to connect with other international students. It's the same time on Friday next week, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'll be sharing about something very interesting, specific topics if you want to be covered. It's write to us on Facebook. We're very responsive. We'll be so glad to give you, you know, a listening ear. I wish you a great week. I hope, I wish you the very best in your exam. I know for sure, like, when you practice the principle that I shared, definitely you'll come out in flying colors. Share your result with me. If you use any of the principles that we spoke about and it worked for you, please share. It will be an inspiration to others. I wish you a great weekend. I hope you spend time, you know, maximizing the weekend very well. Have an amazing, like a soup. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. So every week we get to learn the Turkish word. And then for this week, um, the Turkish word for the week is no do. No do means what's happening okay so i i just you know pause because the the next person coming on the show is is here already t4 in case you're listening i finished talking but we're gonna have music shortly after this the turkish word for this week is no do no do means what's happening like what happened what happened so as an international student you're at the bus you want to talk with your turkish people just say no do like what happened in case if you're seeing people that they are running or they're panicking, the word to say is no do. So the Turkish word for this week is no do. Gurush, bye, and see you next week. I love you.